Welcome. <laughs> Hello everyone in Facebook, Facebook land. This is Kat Trolinos with Tada by Cat Next Level Staging and Design. And you want to stay tuned for this episode because we've got some great information. If you are looking to gain a boatload of equity on your home and or just increase your joy factor and your health factor by installing a home steam shower. This is a very hot topic for me because I am doing just that. I'm doing the legwork. I met with my guest, who I'm going to introduce you in a second here, Karen Archer, uh, to do an evaluation. And she just shared with me an interesting statistic. And that is, did you know that Zillow did a study and that for homeowners or investors who install a steam shower to their property, they can realize a potential of up to 29% higher sales. We were just running the numbers. It's crazy. Let's say a $300,000 home, you're looking at 80, up to $87,000 increase. Let's cut that in half because these studies are done nationwide and say you're part of the nation, it's half that. 40,000, 43,000 more, it's incredible. So that's just a nice side effect the money, because, you know, the money's okay. Yeah, the money's great. But your health uh, uh, benefits and just your pleasure benefits are astronomical. And we're going to go into detail on those. But until we uh, or I would say, uh, we're going to dive in deep. But first, Karen Ashcraft, welcome. Hi, thank and you for having me. Karen, Karen, tell us a little bit about um, what you do. And um, you know, something that uh, you'd like to share with our audience uh, before we get uh, into this topic deeper. Okay, so I'm Karen Ashcraft. I work for a company called Southwest Sales, and we are a manufacturer's rep for plumbing, actually, and lighting products now. Um, so what we are, or what how our relationship with the manufacturers works is we are their feet on the street. We are here locally in Houston and around the state of Texas, and we are out working with homeowners, designers, builders, wholesalers to help uh, promote the product, to help solve problems, to maybe prevent problems um, that are even going to occur. So we work with the manufacturer and then we work with them. We're kind of the middleman. Um, so we don't actually stock or sell product necessarily, uh, not directly to really to anybody, but um, we are here to help. We are here to um teach you. We're here to help you with installation. We're here to tro to troubleshoot with you as well. So um, a awesome. little more about me. I started in plumbing just out of college. I went to Texas A&M and um, I got recruited. So I worked for one of the plumbing wholesalers for seven years. And I've been with some other, uh, another rep agency in the process of, or in this 20 year time span, but I've been with Southwest Sales for, um, it'll be eight years in September. So for quite a while. So we represent several other brands um, today. Obviously, we're going to focus on Mr. Steam, which is uh, one of my favorites. Great products, very easy to work with, um, just a class act. So they are actually made in the U.S. They're made in Long Island City, New York. And um, one of the things that really, it just touched me when we went up to the factory when we, when we took on this line. And um, it's still a family-owned company, so... Um, the president of the company, we were walking around the warehouse and they were teaching us um, just different things. And he knew just very personal facts about some of the employees. So he was telling us that one of them just recently got new gauges in his ears. So the big circles in his ears and he knew he had just gotten the new size. And then somebody else had just had a grandbaby. And it just really um, touched me that he was very connected with everybody that works in the factory. So but it was yeah, that's amazing. How many employees do they have? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. <laughs> I know they do some other things. It's not just um, steam. It's not just residential and commercial steam units. They also um, do, they work for like the U.S. Navy and do some stuff um, making boilers and just other kinds of steam products. Sure. D diversify. Right. And, and, you know, just so y'all know how I connected with Karen, I personally, many of you might know that we spent almost a year with, between COVID and holidays renovating our home. And, um, and I told my husband, we need to, you know, take it to the master bath. And so uh, in doing my, some, you know, some online training, investigation, research, et cetera, uh, my, my back homework, 
it didn't dawn on me that I could have a steam shower. I'm like, oh, a steam shower. I can have a steam shower. Ding, ding, ding. I need, I'm an Aquarius. I need water. I got I have a fountain out. You know, we've had a pool. There's no pool now, but there's a big fountain. I need water. And um, have always known about the health benefits, you know, from a general perspective from a steam shower. But it was in my research that Mr. Steam kept coming up as a uh, top rated number one. And Karen's service, you know, as she mentioned, you know, she's a manufacturer's rep um, and is here to help, you know, not sell anything, but really answer the questions so that you don't make costly mistakes, that you follow the process in terms of what you need to do. Uh, because what I'm finding in, in, of course, doing my first complete, uh, almost complete, we're, we're not changing out the tub or the flooring is, has already been done, uh, bathroom renovation that you need, you know, there's certain steps that you need to take um, to make sure the process is done correctly. And Karen's been super helpful already. She came out to the house to do a size evaluation. Um, and, you know, so, so that's the first part, you know, of, you know, kind of doing the homework before you do the fun part and picking out the, the tile and the, uh, faucets and all of that is the logistics of the configuration. So um, Karen, what are some things that you would like to share with whether someone's a home dweller, home seller, flipper, uh, if they're looking and want to take advantage of increasing their value to up to 29% and at the same time, if they're living in the home, have the benefits, uh, what are some, you know, things, uh, kind of a checklist or some things that you'd like to share with our audience that they should look out for or make sure that they consider? Okay, so for planning stages, you want to think about if you've got an existing um, shower or tub, you can do it with a tub shower. I think sometimes we think, oh, you know, I have that standard 60 inch by 30 inch bathtub and there's no way I can put steam in. And that's not the case. You can actually put it in any, ah. size, um, any size shower. So we've got a couple um, packages that are kind of already put together called steam at home. You can work with those. Those are for um some of the smaller, just more standard size applications. Um, and then for some of the larger showers, which we know a lot of people now, um, you know, your shower is kind of your retreat. It's where you go to relax. Um, and you have, you know, a lot of people also have showering systems with body sprays and rain heads and that kind of stuff. So you can add steam to that as well. So um, as far as sizing tools, you can go on to mrsteam.com and you can go to the virtual sizing or virtual, I think it's virtual spa sizing is how it's listed on there. And it'll give you, basically you're gonna put in the length, the width and the height of your shower. And then there's a drop down, and you're gonna select one of those options. And those drop downs are uh, for the type of material that you're gonna have on the wall. Because the, depending on the, si the material that's on the wall is gonna depend on how big your generator is going to need to be. So once you put in all those dimensions, yeah, why, uh, Karen, why is that? I think I told you I'm, I'm not putting natural stone. I don't want the main, right. it'll be tile or porcelain, but why is that a consideration? Some of the products or some of the products that people are putting on the walls are more porous than others. So they're going to absorb some of the steam. Ah. Make sure that your generator is going to be efficient enough to keep the steam, um, you know, the ample amount of steam in your shower. Okay. And I know in, in, in my particular case, our ceiling is 10 feet tall. Right. So we've come up with the, you know, fact that, you know, we'll need to fur it down about a foot and then of course have a, you know, have it enclosed. So have tile or whatever enclosed, but we'll, right. we'll have to fur it down a foot. So um, that's something to consider <clears throat> also is the height of the ceiling. Yes, absolutely. So you want to make sure we recommend kind of the max height that you go is nine feet. Um, we've seen some creative ways like Kat was talking about furring the ceiling down um, a foot. We've seen some other creative ways um, that they've put glass over the top. So there are you want to make sure that your steam shower is completely enclosed. So you want to have something on the top and then obviously the four walls and then the shower door. And you can do frameless doors. I think people um, think that they can't do any kind of frameless door, but that's not the case. You can, you just need to make sure that you've got just a way to completely close it off because what you don't want to happen is for the steam to escape out through those little holes. So to my, my understanding uh, is that you, you need to make sure that your company that's doing the glass doors, that they put a seal, they have a proper seal, a steam seal as opposed to just a regular frameless. Is that correct? And correct. what's the proper name of that? 
Correct, because regular frameless just has, you know, it has it's a little butt. Cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they just put a gasket in there, a clear, a gasket. It's a yeah. clear gasket, and it just kind of closes it off without, you know, ruining the look of that open door. And then some people, um, it just depends kind of on how you want to do it. But so you want to make sure also that the moisture barrier is going all the way up the walls and then across the ceiling, which normally it wouldn't go across the ceiling. And then you need to put, you know, whatever material you want on the ceiling. So a lot of most people probably continue that tile or whatever material is on the wall. They'll do that across the ceiling as well. And so then, the entire ceiling, Karen? Yes, entire ceiling. You also want to make sure that there's no, you don't want any kind of exhaust fan um, inside the shower. Because even if it's turned off, the, the steam is still going to be escaping up into that fan. <coughs> And if you do have a window, which because a lot of people do have like a window higher up, it just needs to be a double pane window. So, so let's talk about lights. Some folks, and I'm not sure if we do have a can. We might ha may have a can light when we had can lights, but so we might have to revisit that. What's what do we need to be careful of if there's a light uh, in the shower? Yeah, it's got to be rated for moisture because obviously a steam shower is a wet environment. Um, sometimes it gets confused with a sauna and saunas are dry. Steam showers are a wet environment. So you want to make sure that it's rated um, to handle moisture. Uh, Mr. Steam actually sells some showers or some lights that you can get for your shower that are rated um, obviously for a steam shower. You can also add features, which we can get into a little bit later um, with chromotherapy lights as well. So a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we'll go into the bells and whistles soon. Yeah. But on the light, so let's say someone did, like myself, have a, a four inch pock light there. Mm -hmm. All we would have to do is change out the light fixture to a moisture light. Or yeah, you're gonna have, yeah, you'll have that moisture barrier across the ceiling already. Uh, so you uh, need that. So just, it's just, so the puck could stay. the The barrier would be applied. You just need that special light bulb. So it's not saying? a. It's the whole fixture. It's the whole fixture. Yeah. The whole can. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not, not a big deal, but certainly those are the little details that, yeah. um, that you need to think about. Yeah. Because you are creating this, you know, awesome wet uh, therapeutic um, atmosphere that right. you, know, you don't want your falls, walls falling down, your electrical <laughs> arcing out, et cetera. Exactly. Um, One things you do need to just double check uh, for the electrical um, to make sure that you've got the proper amperage in order to, uh, which ours are 120 volts, single phase. Um, but you need to make sure that you're, you know, you've got, you may have to add a breaker to your box or something like that. Uh, so an electrician will have to check that. I am not an expert on electro, um, electricity, so. Uh, okay, so so one of the one of the checklists would be to have your electrician right. make sure that you have enough amperage um, or, or voltage um, to accommodate the, the steam shower. And then the, the, the actual, you described to me, the actual generator is not really that big. Uh, so, no. so we're talking about, we'll probably put ours in the attic. I'm in a single story so we can go right above. Mm -hmm. uh, or if that doesn't work for you, sometimes you can put them uh, in an adjacent uh, cabinet. Uh, correct. correct. Yeah. Some people put them in, uh, well, obviously in Texas, we don't have basements. Um, but Mr. Steen will talk about putting it in the basement. You could put it in the okay. attic. You could put it in an adjacent cabinet or an adjacent closet. If there's a closet someplace close, um, you could put it up, at, you know, someplace in there as well. Um, you'd like to keep it ideally within about 25 feet of the shower, um, just because you don't want the run to be too long. Okay. And then if you can get as straight a run as possible coming from the generator going out to the steam head, as straight as possible, um, the more twists and turns you make, it just um, kind of slows everything down just a little bit. But um, it's not, you know, you don't have doesn't have to be completely straight. So okay, perfect. So let's talk about because uh, I have a little bit of confusion here on on your uh, I guess your fixtures. So mm -hmm. you know, I, I drug my husband Jeff out, bribed him with an uh, Indian lunch that was right next to um, Bath of America yesterday. Uh, and he really likes, he's told me before, he really likes the the, the, uh, the large shower head, rain okay. shower head, right? Okay. So that has nothing. So the shower head and let's say the pull out and the controls, that is separate and has nothing to do with the steam shower. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Like, yeah. And then, so, th so talk about the, the part where the steam comes out that linear. 
Okay. Um, so there's a couple options on steam heads. You can do um, what Kat's referring to. She went to um, Baz of America in Houston on the West Loop, and she saw they have a linear steam head. Uh, and what that is, it's just a very long, narrow strip. Um, and then it's got a baffling system behind it. So the steam's going through the baffling system, which is what keeps it quiet. And then when the water comes up, or I'm sorry, when the steam comes up, it creates a reverse wave going up. Mm -hmm. uh, there's other options. If you just want something a little bit smaller, maybe a little less expensive, you can get squares and they're just maybe three by three, a circle. Um, so there are some other options and those would come in metallic finishes or you okay. can get matte black, you can get, there's a variety of finishes that you can choose to match your fixtures. And what's the most popular and or most efficient? Um, yeah. Right now, I'd say that, um, you know, for a lot of the designer showers, that linear steam head is really popular. It comes yeah. in different sizes and it only protrudes an eighth of an inch from your tile. So it's basically hidden. And if it's planned really well, you can put it right in the grout line and you almost never even see it. You wouldn't even, yeah. know, even know it's there. Yeah, the one I saw, yeah, it was barely, you know, just a slim, right. very, very slim. Which That's a cool. relatively new product, but it's oh, been it? really, really popular. Yeah. So, and then just recently introduced a second. Um, length for it as well. So. Uh, so what I was hoping to see, and I didn't, or maybe I missed it, was, you know, I, I think I told you when you were out, I, I don't want to be a slave to a squeegee, right. so putting glass on the top, but at the same time, my eye of aesthetic says, I don't really want to fur it down and lose that, you know, that sight line of continuity, mm -hmm. so maybe a glass top, you know, uh, bring it down yeah. would be best. Is there any place that you were able to find since we've met a picture of, of it done like that? Or should I just go on Pinterest? I'll have to keep looking for you. I haven't found it yet, but I know there is a, fi a picture of it. Um, okay. The one thing I know also, one thing to keep in mind, um, what was I going to say now? I lost my train of thought. That's okay. Uh, we were talking about maybe it was off the the steam heads, the the linear and the square steam heads. We had just gotten off that topic. Yeah, oh, or it also like the controls. You were talking about the shower heads and all that. Yes. That's, yeah, like completely separate. And then one of the oh, I know what it was. When you um, once you're like most people, because you're in the steam shower for usually ten to twenty minutes, and it's raising your body temperature, so you start to sweat. So most people will shower after they take their steam uh, bath. So once you turn the water on in your shower, it's going to dissipate a lot of that steam because the water coming out of your shower head is going to be much cooler. Much cooler. Steam because steam's obviously going to be near boiling point, whereas the shower that you're, you know, the water you're showering with, you're talking 100, 105 degrees. Most people don't like, you know, I mean, you, it would scorch you if you. If Any you hotter than that. Yeah. Right. So. So uh, before we go into um, one of my favorite things, and that is the health uh, benefits, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about some of the bells and whistles. And, and I'm just going to share what definitely what I, I don't need the aromatherapy. I don't need the Alexa. I've got to plug in Alexa for, for music. My my master isn't that big. It's um, corner uh, corner tub, jacuzzi tub, and then you know, cabinets for my side here and cabinets for his here, which I love. It's separated. So it's kind of square mm -hmm. and the showers over here. Yeah. It's like, you stay over there in your corner. I'll be over here. Um, but one of the things that I am really excited about is to have a fold bench inside the shower. So number one, I haven't costed it out, you know, comp cost compared it yet, but I'm, I'm almost positive. Correct me if I'm wrong, Karen, it, it's more cost effective to do the wooden, a bench that actually folds up to the wall. You got to make yeah. sure your contractor braces for that, wh whatever maximum weight will be on there. But I don't have a huge shower. So that's, that's perfect. And I don't really want, you know, a full tile bench made to take up space. So, um, so I'm going to opt for for one of those options for these, uh, I guess it's cedar wood. Teak wood. Teak, teak wood. teak wood. Yeah. So, um, but Tell us about some of the other uh, options uh, for folks, you know, from strobe lights to aromatherapy to, you know, you take it. <laughs> there are, um, depending on, and you can walk, this will walk you through, if you go to that virtual um, spot, the virtual sizing tool, um, it'll walk you through some of these other things. So there's options on, like we talked about with the different steam heads, you can do the linear, you can do a square around. Um, if you do the, 
you have the option of adding chromotherapy as well. So you can do it in a couple of different ways. Um, you can get a little, some of the steam heads have like a little tray or a little indention and you can drop aromatherapy oils on there. The linear has a little tray that attaches. So what that's gonna do is obviously as the steam passes by, it's gonna collect some of the oils and give you that um, aromatherapy in the, in the shower. Uh, I love that. It is, there's a pump. So that pump would be located between the uh, generator and then the actual shower as well. And it's continuously pumping the aromatherapy oil into the shower. So your entire shower is going to be, you're going to experience that. I can just smell the lavender. Now you're into uh, fixtures now as well. So yeah. tell me, I just read that in, in doing my research for fixtures, that there are some handsets and fixtures now that have it in the wand. You can put the essential oils in the wand. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, and I'm not super familiar with those. Those are not one of any of the brands we represent, but um, you you are right. You can do that um, as well. Um, you also have the option, like if you do the aroma pump, it's going to obviously pump it through. You can change how, like if you want it more stronger in the shower, you can back it off a little bit. So um, you do need to purchase, It's a you purchase it in one liter bottles and you do need to purchase that aromatherapy oil from Mr. Steam uh, because it's the right consistency. Um, oh, so, okay. So I belong to both living essentials or essential living and doTERRA. Mm -hmm. I couldn't use my own essential oils. I'd have to use theirs. So you could use your own essential oils. If you put it on the little well in the steam head, you could do that. Um, you can use whatever brand you want. If you're using okay. a pump, that's when you need to use the Mr. Steam. Ah, so that's like a level up. If you want to, you know, the full, full, uh, Monty there, you would have yep. a, a pump, you know, an actual pump. So you mentioned chromotherapy. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a, a little bit more about that. So there are chromotherapy lights as well. So um, if you're not familiar with chromotherapy, but it's basically the changing color of light changes your mood. So we have a light option um, that would go up in your ceiling and you can set it depending on what you select, the control you select. Um, you can set it to actually not depend. Some controls work with a chromotherapy, some don't. So if you want chromotherapy, obviously you've got to select one that does. Um, it does give you the option. It will cycle through it. So it'll change, be changing colors constantly. Or you can set it like if you want blue because you want to feel more calm and relaxed, then you can set it to uh, a blue and it would stay that way the entire That's time. That's pretty cool. I'm going to tell you with all these options, uh, Karen, um, you know, somebody might just like stay in the, the shower for hours. <laughs> Right. And then you can also I'm just saying <laughs> one of the things we also um so the ice team three is gonna be it's relatively small. I'm holding my hands up, I don't know if you can tell it's probably six by four. Um the control, but that one's kind of the top of the line. Looks looks very similar to an iPad that will control chroma uh, the chromotherapy, the aromatherapy. Um you can also do music. We recommend all right about that because um, if you're sitting in your shower, being you know, in today's society, we're go, 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 go. We're always on our phones. Um, you're sitting in your steam shower, relaxing, kind of escaping all of the everything that's going on. But you're sitting there and it's completely silent and people get bored. So we recommend um, music therapy as well. So obviously you could do music, you could do audio books, but that iSteam 3 allows you, you could actually do a playlist on your phone. So you could be listening to the music that you like, the audiobooks. <clears throat> excuse me. So it also controls temperature and time and you can do settings. You could have multiple user settings. So like if Kat, if you wanted to set yours to your time and temperature of your steam shower and then Jeff wants to do his, he can do that as well with that control. Uh, that's but pretty cool. It's it's a really good sounds like it does everything but clean your house. Yes. <laughs> pretty, pretty awesome. Um so I'm going to uh, take the, 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 the next few minutes because we've got a lot of great information here. And if you have questions, you know, post them. We'll, we'll be, of course, as usual, posting this on YouTube in about 48 hours. Uh, but post questions, we'll take a look at it and answer them. Or Karen will answer them um, if I bring them to her. Um, and we're also, of course, going to be sharing her contact information. If you would like, you know, a home visit or a sizing evaluation. Uh, what is the website before I go into the health benefits? To go a, I'm sorry, mrsteam.com. Oh, okay. And from there, they can do uh, click on the sizing evaluation. Yes. Or, yes. yes. The, or the other thing they can do is work. And then if you go through that sizing evaluation, it'll also 
go down to find a dealer and you can put in your zip code and find the nearest um, dealer of Mr. Steam products to where okay. Wherever you you know you live, Perfect. you definitely want a plumber uh, that is versed and experienced uh, yeah. in a steam shower, which, which is a different, you know, obviously a different um, animal than just a standard shower. Right, and then you also need a dealer to, to purchase it through, as well. Right, right. Perfect. So I pulled in doing my research. Uh, Karen, I pulled off some benefits, and please chime in. Um, uh, on or comment on any of these. I'm going to run through them pretty quickly. Um, the obvious uh, number one, I have nine benefits of a steam shower. And then we're going to wrap this up. We might go a little over. But we're going to wrap this up with what's, you know, why Mr. Steam as opposed to um, an, another uh, steam shower um, product. So number one is improved circulation. Okay. So because the temperature is increased, it increases your blood flow to all of your body parts. Um, actually, this process is called vasodilation, meaning vein dilation. It widens the blood uh, vessels and decreases your vascular resistance, um, which leads to the next point, which is number two, recovery. Uh, so when you work out, okay, your uh, metabolic waste build up in your muscles. Um, this is why you feel sore soreness and fatigue. Um, steam showers help to flush those elements out of your system. Um, for best results, and Karen, you touched on this a little bit, people will steam and then revert to cold or cooler, you know, um, uh, taking that from the hot temperature to cooled. Mm -hmm. And this initiates a pumping action in your capillaries and your uh, muscles. It increases your blood flow, which will also relieve those pesky joint pains and sore muscles. So that's recovery. Number three, stiffness and joint pain. When your muscles relax, tension on your joints and your cartilage uh, is reduced. It's the same feeling you get after a good stretch or what I say, self-massage yoga, uh, but it's even better. Okay. Number four, skin care. It's great for your skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, because it acts as a natural moisturizer, just like Houston humidity. <laughs> we, we complain about the Houston heat, but it does keep our skin nice. Right, Karen? That's right. And you know, one thing people say, I don't need a steam shower in my house because I could just walk outside. Yes. However, outside is not a very controlled environment and you also have gluten's there, whereas inside it's a very controlled environment. You set the time, you set the temperature, you can adjust it to how you want it to feel versus walking outside and you get what you get. You get what you get and it's usually not happy. Um, so the combination of warm air and moisture, uh, moisture opens up the clogged pores so that your body can absorb oxygen and vitamins and really valuable minerals. Um, you know, we can't say enough uh, for that, um, for your skincare. Number five, this is really kind of a, um, a repeat, I guess, on de detoxification. So detoxification, um, because it makes your body sweat. So obviously, it re again, removes toxins and chemicals from your body that have accumulated in your body. Number six, fighting off cold. So if you've got like me, enlarged sinuses. When I get a cold, it hangs on, a head cold, it hangs on forever because I was told years ago from ENT that I have really big sinuses. So it loosens up the, the mucus, um, easing your sinuses and your congestion and irritation. Um, simply standing in the shower and taking a deep breath, you know, kind of like doing a whole body neti pot, if you will, right. uh, will help decongest the nose and the, the chest. Um, number seven, Cardiovascular, um, it increases your pulse rate. I mean, you can feel it when you when you uh, do a steam. Um, so your air intake is also increased because the heat opens up the airways in your lungs, which is obviously great for your cardiovascular. So number eight, metabolism and weight loss. We all <laughs> we all want great metabolism, and most of us want weight loss. Um, so while this is not exactly a fitness plan. Uh, it can be another way to burn calories and lose weight. Mm -hmm. um, when the steam increases your pulse rate, your cardiovascular system is stimulated, leading to increased metabolism. So this is this is like probably I don't know e e equated to X number of steps if you're doing one of those I you know uh, Apple steps um, because it's heating up you know your body and increasing your heart rate. Did you have something on that, Karen? 
No, well, I mean, that's right. It does. It helps with all of those things. Are those the nine, did they give you any more? Uh, the last one was stress management. Yes. You know, we all have stress. So the physical benefits translate into a positive mental well-being. Uh, when your muscles are relaxed, your mind and body are relaxed, your spirit is relaxed. Um, and it helps you sleep better. Yes. You know, it's, it's interesting. One of the, I, I think they didn't touch on what we talk about really a lot in Houston is we have, because of the allergies, um, people with, you know, a lot of people here have allergies and with all the stuff that's in the air, this is like a natural expector, expectorant. So it kind of eliminates the need for you to need like a Mucinex, which I don't know about you. I don't like the way that makes me feel. So um, if you can get something natural to really clean out your sinuses, that's huge. And uh, yes. And, you know, I was telling my husband this because I just got over a pretty nasty and I had to use Mucinex Plus and I had to use a neti pot. Um, and, you know, I believe in all things holistic. You know, uh, I, I'm an, actually a trained massage therapist. Now I don't I don't practice it, but I try to find time to get and I just had a 90 minute massage. It was absolutely fabulous. And I believe in acupuncture. I feel wonderful when I go to the acupuncturist. And I was telling my husband, you know, these modalities, whether it's yoga, taking a steam shower, getting a massage, um, acupuncture, those modalities should be preventative. They're not meant to be curative. Right. And unfortunately, and I'm guilty of this myself, I wait till it's an issue and go, oh, God, I'm in so much pain, I need a massage, or God, I'm so much pain, I need a steam, you know, um, and, and so I'm super excited and looking forward to having an in-home steam shower where I can, you know, maintain and, um, you know, improve my health, my well-being and my joy. And um, it's, I think, I think when you look at it from the health benefits, it's not so much a luxury as, um, as necessary for optimal health, you know, if you're able to do it. Yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah. Other things I think we just didn't touch on, but just a tidbit. Uh, yes. Yeah. It uses actually it uses uh, less than two gallons of water for a 30 minute steam bath. So it's not eating up a ton of water. Wow. Um, so that's something to think about, too. It's not going to raise your water bill tremendously. Um, and then that I mean, that's one of I think a benefit of it as well. Like we think Whirlpool tubs, obviously you fill it up. You have, you know, 60, 70, 100 gallons of water. Yes. Um, this is just for using you know, two gallons of water. So that is, a, that's a great plus because, you know, I think it's more common for people to think, Oh, you know, and we, we had a, a, a jacuzzi, a spa back in Southern California. We used it more than the pool mm -hmm. really um, for health benefits, et cetera, um, relaxation and, you know, health benefits. Uh, but like you said, it's how many gallons of water for that, you know, plus the heating and all right. of that. So what about, does it, is it minimal on electric usage as well? You talk about water as electric usage as well it's not i mean it doesn't use a lot basically it's only using the electricity mainly when you're heating up the water so it's just going to be kicking on it's got a heating element inside the generator so it's going to heat up the water when it's called for so otherwise you wouldn't even it wouldn't necessarily it's not unless there's one option where you would maintain a temperature but most of the time it's got cold water coming in it's going to heat up the shower and then it's going to you know be on the whole time that you're in the shower and then it once you turn it off, then there is uh, something called auto flush, and it will automatically drain it after you're finished using the steam shower. So we do recommend doing auto flush. You are supposed to drain it like you are supposed to drain your water heater, but I know most people don't drain water heaters like we're supposed to. So, 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 uh, so they have to. Yeah. Auto flush will do that for you. So it's okay. a really nice. It's a nice so feature. I just thought of something before we um, sign off and I want to get your contact information if anybody wants to reach out to you uh, before this goes to YouTube. And that is, you know, I'm redoing my, I'm, I mean, I've made my bathroom do. I had the br brass, you know, the brass trim. I, mm -hmm. I put a high heat paint on it and black. So I've done a lot of, like my husband said, well, you know, when we get a new sink, you won't be able to put the black rocks. I go, honey, that was just to cover the cracks. It's not like I wanted the black rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be frugal here and just make things work. Right. So, but my question is, let's say someone has a frameless shower already. They they don't have an antiquated, you know, bra they're not redoing their, you know, uh, frameless and they already have a frameless shower um, and they would like to integrate a steam. Um, 
what would that look like differently than just doing a complete remodel? Probably the biggest part is just going to be that ceiling is that you're going to have to put that vapor barrier in the ceiling. So that's oh. going to be the one part that's um, the, the vapor barrier basically yeah. would be that. And then a, a gasket on the door. Yep. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. The gaskets on the door. Yeah. And then they'll have to have a place where they come through the tile to put this, the steam head on there. Right. Uh, but, so you know, uh, some minimal, you know, some minimal retroing on the tile. Right. So, right. okay. So very doable if you already have, you know, a pretty updated uh, shower and you would just like to add um, a steam shower. That's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you, Karen, so much uh, for agreeing on such short notice to be my guest. Uh, it, you know, I just uh, love all the information that you shared and I'm super excited. Uh, it will, we'll have to do a walkthrough once I get mine all installed and yeah. <laughs> a big reveal. Um, if folks wanted to contact you for a sizing evaluation or they, you know, have questions, need you to come out, tell us what uh, territories that you uh, cover and a, a good phone number for them to reach you. Okay, so I cover um, Houston Metro, and then I go to Victoria, Lufkin, oh. Lufkin, Nacogdoches, and uh, Beaumont. We okay. do have other people in Austin, San Antonio, and um, in the DFW area as well. So basically, we cover all of Texas except for far west Texas at Southwest Sales. Um, awesome. So Southwest Sales can be reached at 1-800-375-8400. Is the phone number there? Um, I okay. can be reached at 281-639-7151. Uh, Perfect. And then um, you can also go to mrsteam.com is another great place as well. To go and just, yeah, uh, research, uh, get some you know, basic information, et cetera. Right. Well, thank you so much. Again, thank I appreciate you. you being my guest and I'm excited about uh, the next step in getting uh, my shower uh, equipped with a Mr. Steam. Um, and uh, this will, again, this will be on uh, YouTube in about 48 hours. If you know anybody out there who's a, a, a trade, you know, we, we've, uh, in this platform, we've had everything from organizers to designers to realtors to um, essential oil specialists, et cetera. But right now, I think, well, people are thinking about fixing up their homes, whether to sell or to dwell. Mm -hmm. If you're a trader, you know a trader, you're a small business. I love supporting small business as a small business, uh, female small business owner myself. Um, have them reach out to me or reach out to me if they would like to be a guest um, on our show. It's every Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And we would love for you to share your magic on your business and help support your business, whatever it is you do, uh, all things home. Uh, so till next Friday, again, and always, I ask you to stay positive, stay hopeful, and stay connected. And thanks a bunch for connecting with me and Karen today. And we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Bye, Bye Karen. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>